Hello guys. Ooh, so I don't want to flex on y'all too hard, you know? I don't want to toot my own fucking horn up in this bitch, but I was in a re- <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. I was in a reality TV show that was on Netflix. I don't know how the fuck I finessed that, but <laughs> I got that back. So we all have life eras, you know? We have our flop era, we have our um, crackhead era, we have our drug addict era. What the fuck is this euphoria, bitch? But I had a TikTok era. It led me to join a content creating house called The Hype House. With a lot of what? Oh my god. Was that a trigger? Did I just get triggered? Oh my gosh. So for those who haven't watched this show, let me give you guys a quick little summary, you know, just to save you some time. So first off, we have the main character, Thomas Petru, and his storyline slash plot, he's a young entrepreneur who created the Hype House and is very pissed off that no one's doing their bang energy promos and his rent's not getting paid. And then we have Nikita Dragon. And the bitch has like 12 outfits every day. Like if you pay closely attention to the show and you're watching everyone's confessionals, we're all super basic, casual, you know, just giving very much Old Navy x to the one vibes. And then there's Nikita, a yesified tampon. Like the bitch looks good. You better fuck it up, little blood vessel. And then we have Mia and her storyline slash plot is just pissed. Mia in the show has a lot of frustration towards everyone because her boyfriend, Thomas, the owner of Hype House, complains to her about everything and doesn't speak up for himself. So then Mia kind of like, she kind of like sends the message. She just screams the message. She just screams the message and honestly, it's kind of hostile. I'm kind of scared of her. And then we have Benny and he's like the, I don't give a fuck. I'm hot, but I don't want to be caught hot. I live here for free, bitch. And then there's me. And my plot in the show is, um, how do I put this in words? Um, I'm the... I'm just the gay black girl. So as I'm binge watching the show, I have an epiphany. I'm like, <gasps> imagine if I had the raw footage and I edit this show. That's what we're gonna do today, guys. So before we start editing, I need a lot of coffee. So you guys are going to come with me to get coffee because you have no choice. It's my video. <laughs> You're stuck with me, so let's go. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. Someone needs to revoke my license. It's the way that I be driving like I got nothing to lose. I do be a little bit depressed, but sometimes when I'm driving, I'm like, what if I just went, you know what I mean? What no, no, <laughs> no. My favorite coffee shop is closed. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. That was my 13th reason. What am I supposed to do, drink Starbucks? Let's talk about this really quick. Now that I have my sixth sense, and you know I'm not fucking blinded by the propaganda of Starbucks. <gasps> hey, oh, they're taking pictures of me. This is what I get for driving a pink car. Bitch, I'm, oh. Icon, Icon. Hey! I hope I look fucking skinny in that. Comment down if I'm correct. Girls are 10 times more confident when they get French tips. One of my girlfriends, she is so mentally unstable. She's always complaining that she wants to die, but the moment that bitch gets French tips, she's ready to take on the fucking world. The moment she leaves the salon, it's like Thanos when he attained all of the Infinity Stones. She's ready for world domination. And if that's the case, to all my girls out there, if that's how y'all feel when you get French tips, let me know because you know what? I'm willing to pay for y'all's now. I'm willing to take the responsibility that men lack, you know? <gasps> Am I the ugly friend? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Am I the ugly friend? <gasps> oh my gosh. I think I'm the ugly friend. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you think I'm ugly? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. How are you? woke up one day and just became an internet celebrity. Kinda. <laughs> Finally, you can see your lashes. <laughs> when the Hype House announced that I joined, um, the entire internet, like, shit on me. They were just like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> 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 Where the boys at? Are you in a relationship? Are you starting a dinner off with negativity? You wanna go inside? Yeah. in the dungeon of the Hype House. Summer. 
and I bring this smelling good because a lot of these bitches don't wear deodorant. We need some girls. We need some shorties. Man. What's your type? I like hey. I like females with a nice sense of style. He's a freaky girl. And if she can dance, that's always cool. That's a plus. Yes. You could travel the world, but nothing comes close. What? <laughs> Today I'm having a pop-up song release party. It was just a moment. Like as soon as I got out there and started partying with everybody, like all the jitters kind of went away. What is your end goal? My end goal is to be f Beyonce. <laughs> That's weird. Ding dong, I'm here, bitches. You look like a fairy princess that resides over the pits of hell. We had this conversation with the whole house about no one doing. What? Really? No one's even talking about that. Why are you upset for no like, reason? Don't be rude. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that? <laughs> Don't be fucking rude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Get <laughs> up! Oh, this is amazing. So this is what y'all be doing, just drinking at 3 p.m.? Sure. Let's get up and dance the sun comes up. My biggest fear is not getting canceled. My biggest fear is getting canceled for something I didn't do. Apparently you might have got too intoxicated and like somehow forced Larry to come knowing he had COVID. I said, damn bitch. <laughs> Hi, pal. I feel like I'm like watching Animal Planet. I feel like I'm not like at some point, I gotta help myself and like build up my career. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Oh, look who it is. Tonight is to practice pussy stunting. <laughs> Okay. Tech talk. Who's the most popular kid? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, oh listen. my goodness. Listen. You smell that shit? The first month you were here, I filmed maybe six videos with you, and then I didn't ask you because you have the worst attitude with everything. Your energy is so off, and it seems like you don't want to be here. Why would I share what I'm feeling? I want you to take off the blindfold in three, two, one. So <laughs> So when I went to high school, I had to go with my best friend, and it was like kind of like- I hope not, you know- Wait a minute, why is there a picture of me on Instagram? I didn't tell y'all to put that out. We've gone through so much together. We fight like family. What the fuck kind of bug is that? A oh, bitch, your eyelash bug. She was sleeping like this, and I thought it was really cute, and I slid up and said that is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, and uh, we started talking from there. Yeah, you're pretty cute too. Thanks, baby. I want you to take off the blindfold in three, two, one. So <laughs> Everyone thinks that he's so perfect. Just a liar. 
He fucking that shit up. <laughs> what about you, lying? <laughs> not much. We're not back together. Um, um, I've been on my single boy. Sh hey, hey, but being, being single has helped me produce and write. I haven't met anyone in my life recently. I have you guys, I don't need anyone. You see, this is why I don't believe you when you make all these promises and you're like, oh, let's get back together. You're the only person in the world I care about. You're a goddess and it's my fault for not treating you like a goddess. I promise, Maddie, I'll change, I'll grow, I'll be better. I don't have to marry me, have my babies. <laughs> <laughs> Before you leave this video, I have one more thing to tell you. So I have a Patreon, and if you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a subscription app where you guys can get exclusive content. Not like nudes. I'm not showing my pussy on there. But basically, if you subscribe, I do private live broadcasting, private group chats, private almost everything. I'm not kidding. It's so personable. I did a live broadcast, and I only had 14 viewers, and it was honestly... I almost cried. I feel like I, it turned into a therapy session. So if you want to join my cult, please feel free to subscribe down below. You don't have to, but honestly, it's a good time, and... If you want to let out some fucking anger, join. We'll talk about it. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.